Hi, I'm Terry Ellender. I'm a Principal Applications Engineer with Texas Instruments. I'm here to talk to you about the LM5023, which is a quasi-resonant mode current mode controller. Typical applications for the LM5023 are battery chargers, notebook adapters, and really any bias power from 2 to roughly 70 watts. The key feature I'm going to be talking about today is the quasi-resonant mode operation of the 5023 and how it works. We're going to start out by looking at the typical application schematic. We take our rectified input line voltage and we filter it. We have our power transformer that has three windings. We have the uh, primary winding, we have auxiliary winding which powers, powers bias power to the, to the controller, and we have our output winding which provides power to the load. We sense the output voltage, we feed it back and provide an error signal to the compensation pin. We then compare that signal to the peak primary current. When the power switch is on, we apply V in across the transformer primary. Because of the phasing of the auxiliary winding and the secondary winding, they are, both of these diodes are reverse biased. So we store all the energy in the transformer primary. The peak current starts out at zero, ramps up to I peak, where it then is compared to the compensation voltage and we turn our primary switch off. At this point, the primary current continues to flow, but it now charges up the output capacitor of our flyback MOSFET. At some point in time, the drain, the output voltage is high enough to forward bias the output diode, and we transfer the energy from the transformer primary to the load. We also then transfer energy to the VCC capacitor, providing bias power to the controller. Now, once we take a look at, start looking at the secondary current, it will start out at I peak and it will ramp down to zero. When it hits zero, we know we have transferred all the energy from the primary to the secondary. And when the current is zero, we have an open circuit on the secondary, we have an open circuit on the primary, so we now have our resonant tank circuit, which is the primary inductance and the output capacitance of our MOSFET. So what happens with this resonant circuit is once the energy is transferred, this drain voltage is going to ring down towards zero volts. When this happens with quasi-resonant mode operation, we would like to turn the switch immediately back on or as fast as we possibly can. The reason we like to do this, because if we can switch this fed on at zero volts, we reduce the switching losses in the system, improving the active efficiency. A second feature is if we switch this fed on at zero volts, we can also reduce the EMI signature of the power supply, making uh, compliance to EMI much simpler. So how do we do this? Well, we don't really want to look at the drain voltage, but this is hundreds of volts in an offline application. So what we do is we actually look at the auxiliary winding voltage because it's a coupled transformer. It's going to have the same waveform as our primary signal. So when this uh, drain voltage rings down to zero, our auxiliary winding voltage will also ring down to zero. We have a voltage comparator that senses when the voltage is approximately zero, and we turn our primary switch back on as quickly as we possibly can. So now that we kind of talked about the operation, let's go over here and take a look at some actual scope waveforms. I have my notebook adapter, which is 65 watts. I'm going to apply a 3 amp load. And what I've got here on the top is my drive output waveform. This is my drain to source voltage. And just for a second, I'm going to turn on and we'll let you look at the primary current. We can see it ramps up to I peak and then it turns off. At the conclusion of transferring all the energy to the secondary, my drain voltage then rings down towards zero. And I can see right here that that is where my primary switch turns back on. Again, achieving very close to zero voltage switching on the primary, coming up with a very high active efficiency. So this really concludes uh, my video of uh, the quasi-resonant mode 5023. If you would like some additional information, please go to our ti.com slash isolated power website uh, for more information. Thank you very much.